<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome back to Anything Scout Tech Tips. Now that Anything Scout Tech Tips. Welcome back to another Anything Scout Tech Tips. Today we're going to explore putting in a new windshield with an Anything Scout provided windshield seal or, 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 and some plastic tools and uh, soapy water and of course fender covers to keep your truck safe. All that and more in this video. Alright guys, first thing we gotta do is get the glass out. But before we do that, we have to take the wipers off. You can check out how to do that and more tips and tricks on how to put them back on in Luke's wiper conversion video. I've also taken the rear view mirror off just uh, to start there and then I've got an antenna remove that so it's out of our way. We've got clear access to the windshield. Next we're gonna take the seal off. Uh, you can start with a utility knife, jab in, find the edge of the glass and just trace around the edge of the glass with the utility knife. Um, this seal is brand new, so we're going to actually remove the seal by taking the locking strip loose, which we'll explain later in the video um, about how to do that locking strip. For removal and install of these seals, we like to use these uh, plastic trim tools. Uh, you can get them at most parts stores. The, you, the nice thing about them is that they're plastic. They're not going to chip them up the glass at all. Uh, they won't scratch your scout. Great tool for this. Get them at your parts store. I'm simply gonna unlock this strip along here with this tool just to free the glass up and we'll, we'll pull the seal off of the glass. This is reverse of what we're gonna do after we get the new glass in. We're gonna lock this strip down. You might be scared about breaking the windshield but it's already broken so it's okay. You probably don't want to break the glass into your scout, but if it's already broken, just try not to put a lot of pressure on it. Uh, you can actually, one ought to be wearing safety glasses. Maybe I should wear safety glasses. <laughs> so this is, this is looking really easy. On an older windshield seal, it's going to be tough, hard rubber. So you're going to want to use a utility knife um, you don't have to be as gentle with it. You don't have to use a plastic tool removing the windshield. Um, you do want to wear safety glasses just in case the glass chips out at you. You don't want glass in your eye. Um, but getting the windshield glass out, just protect your dash, um, protect your, your truck, um, and, and just get it out of there. It's n no real magic to it. Just sometimes have to fight it out. Be careful, you don't, like if it's not coming out, you don't wanna like put a lot of like single point pressure on the inside like, trying to push it out. If you use like a, your palm and slap the glass, that's better than like trying to use your fist or like like um, just putting pinpoint pressure on it. Uh, be cautious if you're trying to do that. It should only take a little bit of slapping to get the glass loose otherwise you might need to do more cutting on your seal um, just just make sure that the the seal is fully cut so the glass is free before you try and hit the glass out okay I'm struggling so I'm gonna have Tyler come help me he's gonna push from the inside as I work the seal from the outside again we're trying to save this seal normally you would just cut the seal and the glass would pop out so if you're trying to reuse an old seal this is your struggle, and it's real. I'm just gonna use some soapy water to uh, help lubricate that seal a little bit. After lots of hard work, we got this glass out. Tyler's gonna help me lift it up and out of here. So we saved our old seal and just took the glass out. So we did the reverse of what we're actually about to do. Uh, we used the, the locking strip 
built into the seal. We just unlocked that and then we went in and, and folded the, the seal out from in front of the glass and then pushed the glass out from the inside of the truck. Definitely takes two people, uh, not really possible to do by yourself. Um, again, we were trying to just save the seal. Most of the time, you can cut the seal if you're gonna replace it uh, and uh, you're all good to go. Should The glass should come out fairly easily. Sometimes an old seal will stick to the glass and you have to loosen it up again with, with some kind of a tool to wedge in between the glass and the seal or just cut the seal. The more you cut it, the easier it is to get the glass out. I wanna explain the seal just a little bit here. It's a little bit confusing looking because which slot do you put it in? What you wanna look for is the back side of the seal. This will be on the inside of the scout, uh, closest to you as you're driving. There's gonna be one um, uh, slot there at the very back. That's what the slot that you're gonna stick onto your windshield frame, the lip that goes around your windshield frame. I'll show you that in a second. Don't put it in this slot, don't put it in this slot. Definitely don't put it here because that's the outside. So, you wanna look for this back one, it's more rounded. It's not gonna have this weird um, extra groove on the outside here. This is the inside. You wanna put it on this back slot. We've got the seal on now. Um, we've got a leather wrapped dash in this truck and we're gonna be using a little bit of soapy water to help uh, get the seal in place around the glass. So I'm just covering the dash pad. Making sure to protect the truck itself. Seal sound, the seal sound. Now that everything is all ready, I'm going to uh, just show you real quick. Uh, this is the glass groove of your seal and then we have this locking strip on the outside which is actually going to, once we have the glass in the seal, we're going to go along and fold that strip over um, and it will actually uh, interlock into the seal um, and hold that glass in there nice and tight. You can see that, that glass uh, groove is now closed up real nice and tight when that is locked into place. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to grab this glass, set it in the truck, get it wrapped into the seal, and then uh, lock that strip down. Okay, now we're gonna take some soapy water and just uh, kind of get that seal lubed up a little bit so we can get it to flip past the glass. Um, this is the trickier part, just getting the glass into that glass groove of the seal. You have to just kind of slowly work your way around. You don't want to put pressure on the glass. Um, if you were to press in on the glass right now, it would it would twist at that point there and probably just crack right across there. So you want to just work slowly, get that, get that seal worked up around the glass. Don't put pressure on it at this point. Um, you can work from both sides. Um, sometimes it's helpful to get one side started and then go to the other side. But again, you want to avoid getting the glass twisted with any kind of pressure on it at all. Um, so working evenly across the glass is gonna be advantageous. Guys, now we've got the, the seal wrapped around the glass, giving it a flat-handed slap um, is, is, uh, is a good technique for getting it to seat all the way in there. Right now I've got the seal up around the glass, all the way around, and uh, it just needs to get seated down in there. So I'm just gonna slap it open-handed, you don't want to use your fist. You don't want to press on it. Um, you just want to give it some good slaps. And that'll just pop it right in there. We're past the point where, where things usually break. So this is just the final step of locking this, uh, this locking strip down into the seal. Um, all you have to do is just fold it in there and trace it around the whole 
uh, windshield. The corners are especially difficult. You'll probably want to use the plastic tool again just to get that to, to, um, to press out as you're pushing down and following along. Um, once you get past the corners, it's pretty smooth sailing. Um, you just have to work it in there. Uh, it's a good hand workout. Um, <laughs> your fingers will be sore after this, but it's worth it. All right guys, now we got a brand new windshield installed in this Scout, ready for another 100,000 miles. Thanks for watching, check out our other videos, and stay tuned for more.